Fort George was built by the British Army after Jay's Treaty in 1796 required Britain to withdraw from Fort Niagara. The new fort was completed in 1802 and became the headquarters for the British Army and the local militia. Fort George was captured by the U.S. forces in 1813 at the Battle of Fort George. The American Army used the fort as a base to invade Upper Canada, but were repelled at the battles of Stony Creek and Beaver Dams. The fort was used by the Canadian Army as a military training base during the First World War and through the Second World War under the name Camp Niagara. The grounds were eventually abandoned by the military in 1965. This site is now a his National Historic Site of Canada maintained by Parks Canada. The fort is open to visitors from April to October. The staff maintains the image of the fort as it was during the early 19th century with period costumes, exhibits, and displays of that time. They train summer students in infantry tactics and firing drills of the 41st Regiment from the War of 1812. A fireworks show is happening not too far from the fort. It served two purposes. First, it gave a wonderful array of lights and colors. And second, but most important, it sounded like artillery fire and cannon blasts in the distance. The magazine house is the only building that stood and was original during the war. Like most people, I wanted to experience the energy of history. To my surprise, I am no psychic, but I did pick up on the negative energy from the structure. This normally doesn't happen to me, but the notable part was that the negative energy was so strong that I had to choke back my tears. We were gathered in the tunnel in the back of the fort when we heard the muffled grand finale go off. It was very unique and loud. It sounded like cannonballs smashing against the fort. Soldiers are randomly seen everywhere around the fort. Inside the walls, a gray figure has been seen leaning against trees and around the fort. He'll appear for just a moment, and then with a the blink of an eye, the figure is gone. In the officer's house, a woman has been spotted inside of an antique mirror, and the piano in the grand parlor has been known to play itself. The tunnel located at the back of Fort George is an anomaly. It, it was a mistake made by the heritage planners in the 1930s, as it never existed in 1812. Still, the sound of soldier issue steel lined shoes are heard dragging, dragging along the stone floors. <laughs>